up everybody it's your girl july from kickback couture and today we're going to make an 808 with complex so i have a quick pattern programmed i'm gonna play it and then i will talk you through the process of making a bang 808 Now there's a few ways we can work. We can work with these windows or we can work with the cables. I actually prefer the cables. So I'm gonna click on the show cables button. Then gonna change my oscillator mix. Gonna bring it all the way down to just be on oscillator one so we only hear that output. The next thing I wanna do is come down to our ADSR. I'm going to bring our sustain all the way down. I'm going to bring our decay down quite a bit and the release. Actually bring it all the way down. Let's get a little bit more decay in there. All right, cool. I like that. So now what I want to do is use the shaper. So in order to use the shaper, I'm going to Disconnect this here, our mix that was going into the output mixer. I'm going to put this into the shaper, and then the out of the shaper will go back into the output mixer in one. And we have a few different types of distortions here that we can play with. Let's go with saturate. Let's go ahead and run through a filter. So disconnecting this one more time, gonna connect this into the filter, gonna take this low pass and put it into our output mixer again. This will control our frequency cutoff and we can dial up the distortion if we want to. We can even switch that out. All right, cool. So I like the sound of this. If for some reason you're getting a pop sound at the beginning, just adjust the attack ever so slightly. You still want it to, to hit like an 808. Depending on your beat, you might want it to be more smooth. So if you do want a more smooth attack, just bring the attack up a little bit. That sounds pretty smooth to us, to me, because there's only one of me. So we'll go ahead and add in oscillator two. Let's go ahead and turn up this mix a bit. And you notice we're, we're not hearing anything. So if if you're not hearing anything like me, it's probably because I don't know what's going on. Let's figure it out. Oh, so the the filter was uh, set to a. a position in which we cannot hear this shape so we can bring the pitch up let's go ahead and bring it up 12 and let's go ahead and switch this to a, a pulse wave actually all right cool let's go ahead and mix this in rather than have it fully on oscillator two. And now we have a dope 808. So once again, play with the attack. If you want it smoother or you want a, a harder a harder punch at the beginning, then we can go ahead and attach one of the filters in and go from there. So if we wanted to do that, then what we would do is take our filter and put it into our ADSR trigger in. So let's go ahead and turn this off so I can see what we're doing here. We can get this going into our envelope. And you'll see that that connected by itself by clicking on that screen the in the window. And now we can hear our filter is working into that envelope. And
and you can do some more routing here if you would like to. Alright, so the next thing I would do is, what I already did, is just bring down the, the frequency, filter frequency a bit, and uh, adjust the oscillator mix, and mm, design the 808 to taste. If you wanted to add some external uh, shaping, you definitely could. We can go ahead and add a scream, or we can add a pulverizer, which is probably one of my favorite things to put on 808. S squash that. Add some dirt. So if you like this video, give it a like, comment down below, subscribe, hit that notification bell so y'all know when I have uploaded new videos. It's all culture, kick back, and kiss it, kiss it, cook up. I'm never saying that like that again.